Hi, for today's tear down, very beautiful piece of avionics, the Allied Signals GNS-XCDU as cockpit display unit, made in 1986. Uh, serial number is erased here, but we have nice information about the uh, software and hardware modifications. Weight is 5.55 libs. Made in Olat, Kansas. So here is what it is looking like. Super nice uh, cockpit display unit with a 3 inch display, uh, display here. Actually a 30 display on the wall bunch of case on the back just one connector one notice about the 5 volt panel lights and a few screws so actually we have screws all around on this thing it might seem quite complicated to take apart but it will be easier than expected at least for the start so about the keys what do we have we have next previous a fist here something with uh, no label but a light nav plan your uh, alphanumeric keyboard on button brightness star on this space maybe here and it is all quite beautiful keys so they are uh, tactile dom uh, keys i did already take apart the keyboard to clean it because it was super dirty I do not want to take apart it a second time but there is nothing in particular to see in the keyboard just a circuit board with switches and metal dome switches and little bulbs nothing particular so how to take this thing apart actually if you consider that it is in an aircraft you must minimize downtime, you must be able to replace easily or upgrade easily parts. So the way to open it is the four screws on the front. And it will actually allow super easy access to the contents and to the main circuit boards. So they are captive screws you cannot close. So this unit was 10 British pounds on a British eBay. They are more of them for sale and now they are even lower. They are at 5 British pounds because apparently the seller has a whole bunch of them and wants to get rid of them. And it came super fast by UPS in 3 days or something like this. Quite amazing. So here is what we have for the keyboard. Uh, actually, either connector, quite a regular one, with information here about the manufacturer of the keyboard. So there is nothing to see in here, just a light diffuser and uh, dumb switches. But I had to clean it, to take it apart completely to clean it because it was very, very dirty. Okay, and here is what we have inside. So apparently four circuit boards with uh, pull zip ties here. Your little CRT display with uh, band marks. I do not know how it, how it will show on camera, but you can see band marks of the characters. And uh, probably your power supply section here. Power supply converter. So we have this wire harness that we undo. And here you can notice, yes. A regular hard drive kind Molex connector. Quite amazing, but there is a big difference with uh, computer grade Molex connectors. It is that you have golden contacts. You do not see it every day in two computers for uh, hard drive connectors. But uh, higher grade here of Molex, but still exactly the same thing. So I will pull out of the way first the first circuit board. We will have a look at them and then I believe if I undo some screws around the wall back unit will pull out and we'll be able to have a better look at the other electronics in here. 
because there is more stuff actually ah. here there is something it is uh, one wire in each link apparently connected onto an over molex connector so it must be for an upgrade or something like this quite weird ok so let's try to pull out the circuit boards I did it already and I know they are not easy to pull actually they are super hard to pull and I have to use a screw because if I pull too hard on this I believe it will break so first one Nice uh, either here probably for software upgrade or something like this. 4 MHz and 2.8 MHz crystal oscillators. And a whole bunch of integrated circuits. So do we have any label on this card about what it is? No. <laughs> but we have obviously one from here. This might be some RAM and uh, maybe uh, main processor here, national semiconductor, peripheral chips here. So they are not all uh, the ceramic ICs, this one are regular plastic ICs. The EPROM is socketed for easy replacement. onto a low profile socket you do not see every day no bulge on this board ah excuse me I did speak too early bulge wires ah even a lot of bulges here look at this they did cut the legs of the circuit of the integrated circuit lift them and connect them in a weird order with little wires that are going here and here also they did lift the legs of these integrated circuits ok so it was the first board second one the one that connects to the keyboard actually oh, here I can see some damage on this IRF part it is not me it was bent on the side. I will try maybe to repair it a little bit but quite uh, weird. More bulge wires here but they, they seem to be by design this one as it is in uh, the uh, uh, markings here overboard. One super nice uh, Aris chip here probably keyboard controller. Taiwan brand, Taiwan, yes, I do not see the brand, but uh, quite regular uh, electrolytic capacitor here, quite a surprise, beside a uh, super nice Teledyne shielded relay. Uh, well assembly, because you have at the same time uh, what seem to be power parts on the little circuits. Ah, it is written here, keyboard interface. Okay, so maybe on the other one, at the same location, we have the information. No. Quite interesting. So this one was the keyboard interface. What next? We must have a display interface somewhere. This one has nothing written also, but here no bulge, more, yes, this is obviously some RAM, oh, MC68B45 by Motorola, this might be your processor, and here also some damage on this, uh, I see, it is not me, you can see it is, uh, a little bit uh, sideways this thing 
not sure what happened on this one so I will try to repair it a little bit and you can see how the legs are uh, oddly shaped on this ICs not something usual so no information about what this card does again we are left with one more but this one will be even more difficult to undo because there is a trim pot in the way and here also no description of what is the board deflection CDU ok it is for the control of the CRT quite interesting Oh yes, lot of little trim pots here. This one is actually a uh, genuine trim pot brand, but you can see quite a weird uh, form factor, unusual, very flat and long. Interesting. Here more uh, electric capacitors. Okay, so now I should be able to pull the rest of the uh, electronics out of the case we can see the back plane at the back so I believe the whole case should slide out and reveal the contents so I will try Okay, you will notice that on this panel here we have screws, so it should be possible to undo this panel for better access inside. But it will not be necessary here, as everything is coming off, except maybe for the CRT unit that seems to be still secured by probably some hidden screws behind the stickers and as I do not want to undo the stickers it will remain in place of this thing but there is not much in here actually it is just yes the shielding of the CRT you can see here pretty impressive uh, termination on this uh, connector it is uh, Coated in silicon, very high level of insulation in clear silicon. Not something I did see previously. There is obviously the uh, high voltage wire here and some deflection coils here, probably. Everything is shielded in a new metal case. But I cannot remove it because of uh, hidden screws. But here we have the uh, power section, well, all the tail. You can see the back plane with uh, oh, this kind of connections here. I did already see them onto the one AGA thermal camera. So uh, there are little uh, cylinders like this that will pin on the golden pins like this. Right. Uh, interesting you can see there is no insulation whatsoever on the back of the, con of the connector here quite uh, weird some uh, silicon here very sticky and writings here so your little back plane and here we have actually so this might be the connection for the backlights. You can see they go directly to the connector here. So if I take a note of uh, pins, I might be able to power directly the panel lights quite easily. I will do it. 
testing and here we have obviously your power supply unit with here the high voltage transformer which is completely coated in silicon not very hard soft material some trimmers here on the side are poking out and then we need little circuit board with mainly uh, two transformers I can see uh, what else power transistors or voltage regulators here and it is all everything in this U shaped aluminium ca can okay interesting quite uh, uh, weird work here actually about this uh, silicon you can see this look at this it is uh, quite disgusting I do not know what happened either it did turn bad and become again soft this silicon or it did never become hard but quite uh, surprising this thing I was not expecting this and I will definitely try to clean it a little bit before I reassemble the unit quite surprise one more Molex connector here connecting the things interesting ok so this was a nice uh, unit at least beautiful unit if you go actually in a display in my living room after I put it back together so thanks for watching bye bye